Yeah, it's a rain out of a day. I'm still gonna try to see some cool, interesting things though. The lower fountain looks like a keyhole. Everyone likes a good mystery. Dylan Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. Well, if you say so. I can't believe it. It's a bank holiday and they're open. To heat up, to help heat up the new oil coming through, which they did as a little bit though. Some tasty choices here. A nice cappuccino and a carrot cake. Real high quality street art. And then it wraps right around the corner. I'd say that street art looks a little bit more permanent. Aw, everyone looks so happy. In this neat little alleyway, we have some street art. And also, a neat little coffee shop called Base Camp. Interesting. This is the employee of the month. They certainly have made some unique architecture here. That's a very interesting bridge, isn't it? And it leads to this large arena. In case you don't know, all road signs in Wales are mandated to be in two languages, both Welsh and English. Come fly with me, come fly, come fly away. That's very creative. Here by one of the docks, we have a piece of Scandinavia. Humanskirchen. But it looks like they turned it into a day nursery. More temporary street art. And once again, really high quality stuff. Whoa there, this guy's really on the move. This is a nice colorful little side street here in Swansea. But if you look in the distance, you can see the smoke rising from Mordor. This is the Welsh version of Roholms. Wow, think of the people that live here. There's not a road on the other side. That's how they reach their house. There's a lot of closed down businesses here in Swansea. It's not good to see. The stonework on these old churches is phenomenal. Some more old stonework. They love their stone churches here. That's quite a colorful hillside there. There's a coffee company around the corner. Let's do it. Crafty Smuggler Coffee. And they are their own roaster. Right in the center of the city are the remains of Swansea Castle. What you see today was built in the 1200s. Not much left of it anymore. It seems to be mostly claimed by birds. You gotta love the stonework. You can still see the slots from which they used to shoot arrows. This is the main boozy street at night. Not much during the day. The most beautiful building in downtown 
and it's to let. That's pretty cool. This is Swansea Market. Typical goods. The fish look fresh. Here's St. Mary's in the middle of town. This church in Swansea still has Welsh language services. Apparently she was an opera singer. You can ring my bell. You can ring my bell. Does Speed Racer have a new sponsor? What's DLP? Lest we forget. That's quite an entrance. I'm having a nice little walk through Swansea University. Great architecture. There's even a nice bicycle repair station here. Quite lovely. Yep, this house looks incredible. That's cool. I heard there's some good stuff here. I guess we're going to find out. So we have here my cappuccino and honey and bergamot. There's a kitchen over here as well. They take their bowling very seriously. I don't like seeing tennis courts in such disrepair. And this half pipe, it looks like the same size as the one that used to be in my grandmother's backyard. How interesting that they decided to build an observatory on the beach here in Swansea. It does look like you can get a half decent view of the desolate beach. No beach goers this early in May, not a chance. I tell you, when the sun comes out, the beach doesn't look half bad. Let's check out the Swansea Museum real quick. There's an Egypt room with a real Egyptian mummy. This guy wasn't in the mood. Birds. Welsh record cod. Some very lovely kitchenware. A television manufactured in 1950. Admit it, you like the fashion. Here's a vintage Welsh living room. And Tom Jones there is still on tour. Here's some old Welsh football jerseys. There's a surf culture in Swansea, but also a skateboarding culture. Here it talks about the Swansea skate park that was built. A sculpture of Dylan Thomas. Swansea has quite a beautiful marina. Looks like the locks are working. That's surprising to see. Here we have some real fishing vessels for some professional fishermen. I guess it's time to climb Kilvey Hill. Quite a nice little trail going up. This is very typical of rural Wales. There's a huge hedge on both sides of the road. Somebody has horses. There's some horses in the distance. And here is downtown Swansea and the harbor. Here's a view of the opposite side of the bay. That's a cool looking cat. Here's your aerial view of Swansea. Not what you thought. <laughs> 